If you use this style sanding drum and ever accidentally destroy it, here are three ways you can keep working until you get a replacement. You may have seen this first trick, but you probably haven't seen the second and third. The first is a hot glue gun trick. Then just drill it out. This method works really well, but there are a couple issues. The first thing to keep in mind is this glue is heat sensitive. So if you run these sanding discs too fast, you'll build up heat and soften the glue. And another thing is a lot of these sanding rolls are not perfectly round. You can make them pretty round, but you'll never get them totally perfect. It's usually expanding the rubber that makes them perfectly round. So they'll always be slightly unbalanced with this method, but it does work. Another trick is to use a standard pink eraser you'll need two round discs. And you can cut those by hand with a razor, but a much easier method is to use a half inch diameter copper pipe. I beveled the edge of this one to make it sharp. Two pieces will fit perfectly inside one of these standard size rolls. These are more round and balanced than when you make them with the hot glue. They're also more heat resistant and you can reuse them multiple times. The third and my favorite idea is using quarter inch inside diameter fuel line. I have a couple different brands and they're both exactly the right outside diameter to fit these sanding drums. Now you'll notice the hole on these is a lot larger than the factory rubber pieces. That means it's not self-centering, but with the washer on there, it's very easy to visualize where the center is. When it's tightened down, you're actually pulling the washer down a little bit, so it holds it in place and it stays perfectly centered. This rubber is really strong and they hold up just about as well as the original ones do. And they're much faster to make than any of the other methods. You could pretty much use these all the time and not ever get a replacement of the original one. All three methods do work really well though. It just depends on what materials you have on hand. Let me know in the comments below if you have found any other tricks that work. If you like this video, please consider clicking the thumbs up and subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything and it really helps out the channel. Thanks.